Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and these are notes for behind the scenes research for Project Pius. Okay, first up is the Cursus Library, or more specifically, public domain Cursus for Windows. This is basically an open source library that allows for fancy text manipulation of the console so that possibly I might be able to do a modern implementation of Sailor Moon versus Pokemon and in doing so, so apply proper game techniques to it and therefore be better experienced when I do Project Pius. And so after I did the curses I basically researched um, not this. Um, basic tutorials for um, game design and engines and it seems that I've come across the natural programming quandary of generic versus hard coding and balancing between the two. Um, basically for something to be generic is you have it nice and abstract so that changes very easily. So here in sale um, poke, I have the instantiation of the characters. Uh, you know, basic uh, name, elements, stats, you know, and just chain them together in a giant uh, select case. So it's very easy for me to add another character by this design. Uh, another example would be here's the actual uh, fight uh, function. Very simple. Refresh the characters get the player's move, get the enemy's move, and then you uh, do it. And keep doing it until either the character or the all the enemies are dead. However, because of uh, even though I set these um, good design styles in place, um, I was still very uh, young in programming. So here's the actual move. And this is very odd code in that first we see who's the first player the actual uh, the user or the enemy is it the user or the enemy and if it's the user we do the user first otherwise we do the enemy first this code can be condensed into one block if I used a priority queue or something to that nature however had very limited understanding of various programming mechanics such as I didn't know about classes or file openings and such so therefore I'd have all these funky if-else blocks. Also even though here I set myself up to use you know proper switch cases to have a generic um, addition of characters although it's very easy to add one I still have to go throughout the other rest of the code and adjust other if else blocks for situations such as here which is what is this for calculations for attacks I don't do damage uh -huh. here I would have to also add stuff for um, the elemental immunities even though that is someplace else in the code so um, I have the opportunity to update this program using the PD Curses library instead of a whole bunch of go to X's um, because now there's no way to repeat sale poke without getting a 1990 edition, 1998 uh, Borland compiler. Uh, but this would be doing it all the way from the ground up, and it's like, do I want to waste my time on this? I've already wasted my time doing this, so yeah. And it's also the balance like, do I have to make this super abstract? Because guess what? Um, I'm probably not going to use the engine ever again for another game, and no one else is going to do it so either, so why bother? I know practice makes perfect better to prevention is immeasurable, all that junk. So, actual doing game designs. And I found a couple of decent ones where you can have very elegant situations, such as here with sound. Or here's the SDL, so you know, here's a sound object, and it has uh, basic things play stop. And then it has a sound manager which controls it, such as pause all and stop all and all that good stuff. The only problem I have is uh, they establish, or oh, no, I want to see it, not do it. System core, here we go. 
Although they give examples of the engines and how to use them, there is very little on actually making a game out of it. So here I have this nice graphics engine uh, with all these states and you know texture manipulation, sound manipulation. It never shows it how to put it all together in something very simple like Pong. So even though the managers are very elegant using you know cues and stacks, um, how does it work? It's kind of like you know give you know you learn about stacks and like well what is it used for then they you know in class they show you reverse polish notation like oh it makes sense but you'll never do it that way because you um have normal uh functions anyways um moving on so next topic would be a uh, proper web host it seems the two contenders are sourceforge and google code the only problem with Google Code is that you need a cell phone to register, and I do not have that capability. Um, although SourceForge does, then Google is supposedly easier to use. I'm not sure if it makes a difference. Also, in general, I'm not sure I'm not basically comfortable with the open source uh, licenses. I love the open source community, but it's just more of like um, just normal wariness of that amount of freedom and litigation and just a can of worms that uh, in my situation um, just normal hesitation is basically it's the whole like uh, grad students do all the research but the professor is the one who gets the credit and that type of deal um, just more excuses to procrastinate actually making the decision and actually um, putting a code. Uh, normal internet practices. I do not like to make accounts unless I have to. Um, because even though uh, internet and mobile phones allow for instant communication, they're very useless because people usually have about 10 email accounts in their lifetimes and they don't keep track of them, so the one they give you um, is a dead one. Pointless. Moving on. Okay, the actual coding. I've been playing around with uh, some prototype classes and stuff. Um, haven't done much. Um, but more things I learned is uh, even though I have a character class, I'm probably going to have to split away enemy characters from the heroes. Um, also, I will have to make probably a character class manager so that in dealing with level ups such as here, it'd be better handled by a class manager friend rather than the characters themselves otherwise it gets very complex also I probably need a fusing class to represent uh, demonic possessions and stuff and maybe another class for enchantments so that you have an enchantment class and the character that helps manipulate the stats without actually touching the original ones and less worry about memory and such okay and I'll probably do a whole bunch of little prototypes to um, practice things, such as loading enemies from a file. And finally, I am looking for an instrument. It looks like this. Um, basically, you hold it at the bottom, and you flick it back and forth to move the hammer and make clicking sounds. This should sound like the little wood blocks you have in the entrance of a kabuki uh, theater. This is found in Eastern Orthodox Christianity. I do not know the name of it. Um, the closest I could find is this, the Samantron. However, I doubt this is the same instrument as that, is because this seems to be more of a fancy xylophone type woodblock uh, marimba thingy, as opposed to a, just a simple hammer click clack. So if any of you know what it's called, I would highly appreciate it. Wrong one. Wrong one again. Here we go. So until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun making games. See ya.